figure the company that partners with OpenAI to create humanoid robots have launched their second version of robot which is production ready for large scale called figure 2 now initial focus of this man, this robot and overall project was to have it used in industries first so that it would become like a proof of concept for people and people would start trusting robots specifically the way of interaction between humans and these robots is through voice visual communication and they are also programmed to learn on their own from their mistakes this way if like for example if there's an interactive environment human can with only voice they can control them like tell them to stop or tell them to start something new or move aside and they don't have to use any joysticks or numpads to control that that becomes easier so what's uh, the upgrade in the next version first of all it's like purely matte black so it feels like more premium they have used flexible 3d printed materials so that like for a uh, things like neck and everything it's still sealed but it's flexible and previous version was slightly sort of like a science project because all the wires were hanging out and certainly that was not ideal for a industrial robot so so as I said, their focus is mainly to get this adopted in industries first because industries have all these environments which, which may be not be the best thing for humans. Like it's high stress, uh, the working condition may not be very comfortable for a human. It has often has repetitive tasks and it might require you to uh, lift some load and everything. So they have made this. They have upgraded the motors of this robot to load, have like higher payload also. and the interesting thing about this robot is that they have increased the degree of freedom. That means the motors can rotate more and it is now more flexible than a human. It can like stand and rotate 360 degree on around its back. They've also increased a bit of the weight. Now this robot weighs around 25 kg, which is still light given the capacity, uh, the amount of things that it can lift. Now it has like, it's more capable. It has real time like image processing it can learn on its own and uh, it is generally designed for like industrial tasks so their demo also shows it like fixing up assembly overall and it costs around 150k to 200 thousand dollars and it will be available soon in the factories they have shown it to be working in some car manufacturing factories but yeah i think they their initial customers would be other companies who are looking to increase their productivity into maybe three or four shifts to want to manufacture more they would might apply these robots in those areas but what i have personally found is that the motion of this robot is too slow like it it is not even uh, comparable to a normal human so i don't know how they would address that in terms of productivity whether if it is taking a lot of time to fix a basic thing that a human would directly do they are ready to manufacture this on a scale this is production ready not a prototype so i think you will see more of these in the factories first and eventually after a few years in your houses so stay tuned i'll cover i also have this video mentioning another tesla robot so you can check it out until then i'll see you next time